U.S. President Joe Biden says America's longest war will end next month, resisting calls from some quarters to keep U.S. troops in Afghanistan amid a Taliban resurgence. AP's Sagar Magani reports. The president says the U.S. has achieved both goals it set when invading Afghanistan 20 years ago, take down Osama bin Laden and keep the nation from again becoming a terror haven. We did not go to Afghanistan to nation build. And Afghan leaders must now chart their own path. The president's been visibly annoyed by suggestions he's leaving too soon as the Taliban makes steady advances. But he says the past 20 years have shown the war is unwinnable. How many thousands more Americans' daughters and sons are you willing to risk? Under growing pressure from lawmakers, he's vowing to evacuate thousands of Afghans who help the U.S. military as drivers and interpreters. Sagar Magani at the White House. There will be no fans in the venues at the Tokyo Olympics later this month after a decision by organizers and the national government to implement a state of emergency because of COVID-19. We get more from Reuters' Francis McGuire. The decision comes after Japan declared a state of emergency for the capital due to the global health crisis that will run throughout the event. The move was made following talks between the government, Tokyo organisers and Olympic officials. A sports psychologist said having no fans could affect the performances of the athletes. Japan's Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga said the state of emergency was essential to stop Tokyo becoming the source of another wave of infections as the highly infectious Delta variant spreads. The ban on spectators has ended hopes for Tokyo organisers of adding a public spectacle to the event, which has already been delayed by a year. That's Reuters' Francis McGuire. Two men believed to be Haitian Americans, one of them purportedly a former guard at the Canadian Embassy in Port-au-Prince, have been arrested in connection with the assassination of Haiti's president, according to a senior Haitian official. Matthias Pierre, Haiti's minister of elections, told the Associated Press that James Solage was among six people arrested in the 36 hours since the brazen killing of President Jovenel Moïse by gunmen at his home in the pre-dawn hours of Wednesday. Four other suspected assailants were killed in a gunfight with police, and two are still missing. California Governor Gavin Newsom is asking people and businesses to voluntarily cut how much water they use by 15 percent. AP's Ed Donahue explains. Newsom says some are calling this a mega drought. This is jaw-dropping. What's happening in the West Coast of the United States? Reservoirs in California are rapidly emptying. The recommendations include taking shorter showers, running dishwashers only when full, and less lawn watering. Newsom's request is not in order. I want to underscore voluntary water conservation. The governor says drought conditions go as far back as 2000. We are hopeful uh, that people will take that mindset that we brought into. People of the state of California will take that mindset they brought into the last drought and extend that forward. Lake Oroville in Northern California is at 30 percent capacity. I'm Ed Donahue. Rescue workers now focused on finding remains instead of survivors in the rubble of a Florida condominium collapse paused briefly atop the pile Thursday to mark the two-week anniversary of the disaster. The death toll has risen to 64, with another 76 people unaccounted for. Detectives are still working to verify that each of those listed as missing was actually in the building when it collapsed. Meanwhile, rescue workers who have been at the site for two weeks are dedicated to the task of recovering as many victims as possible. The change from a rescue to a recovery operation took place early Thursday morning. No one had been pulled out alive since the first hours after the building fell on June 24th. Meanwhile, authorities are launching a grand jury investigation into the collapse, and at least six lawsuits have been filed by families of those in the towers. The number of Americans filing for unemployment benefits rose slightly last week, even while the economy and the job market appear to be rebounding from the coronavirus recession with sustained energy. Thursday's report from the Labor Department showed jobless claims increased by 2,000 from the previous week to 373,000.
The U.S. Army has a manual on resisting indoctrination when a prisoner of war. Wilkes had stabbed Christie while resisting arrest, for which he was indicted, tried, convicted, and sentenced to hang. No, that they are resisting because they want to control their own destiny, rather than be dictated to by a foreign occupier. He decided to implement a new approach to Maori education by drawing energy into farming as well as bookwork. It matters because it tells us of the yawning chasm between labor's dreams and what happens when it tries to implement a policy. The failure to implement policies intended to undermine confessionally based political power have curtailed that hope. The assassination of Hariri led to the recall of the U.S. ambassador from Damascus and warnings about Syrian sponsorship of terrorism. The attack was unprovoked and it seems he was selected at random for assassination. Meanwhile, the right wing demonstrates its abhorrence of defamatory character assassination and smear jobs here. Rather than reconfiguring the court in one fell swoop, they must proceed member by member as justices die or leave voluntarily. There is no evidence of her ever wishing to voluntarily relinquish the post. It would be wrong, however, to whitewash him as the last of the old school, voluntarily resigning statesmen. The run-up to the 30th anniversary produced a rash of new revelations and bitter polemics. You might expect any dance organization celebrating its golden anniversary to indulge in a bit of retrospection. Unfortunate timing, I'm afraid, in that it happened to be my wedding anniversary. Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.